Good evening, everyone. I've decided to do another concentrate video uh, so that y'all can see. I, I will be uploading the video of me topping my canadensis wild lettuce. And uh, I, I'm asked these same questions over and over, so I'm trying to do videos, even if they're repetitive. Maybe someone has a hard time finding them. Maybe they stumble upon a different one. And as far as I'm concerned, you can never have too many wild lettuce videos because I truly feel that this plant is, is going to save a lot of people. Um, a longtime friend of mine... Uh, she was actually my natural mother's best friend. I saw her at the farm market, and she has neuropathy from diabetes type 2. Uh, she has a lot of pain in her spine from uh, failed spinal surgeries. She's actually pretty much wheelchair bound at this point, and she has restless legs at night. Well, she didn't buy anything at the farmer's market, but she has not been able to sleep in three days, and she just reached out to me. So yesterday, I dropped her off uh, a big bottle of the concentrate, and she reported back this morning she got six hours of peaceful, restful, sleep. Uh, she did take uh, uh, six cc's. Uh, this is because she's a large woman and when I say large woman I mean she's physically tall. Uh, she, I think she's about six foot four even though she's see she's almost 69 70. She's, she's a physically tall woman and broad woman so I felt like she needed a little extra but she went slow she started slow and then she built up so I'm hoping that over the course of her being able to use this uh, if nothing else she will be relieved of at least 50 percent of her pain and to be able to sleep and rest at night I explained to her about the sesquiterpenes how it oxygenates the blood so it promotes healing and also the hyacycamine in the plant so that uh, it helps with spasms uh, any kind of thing to do with spasms so uh, she reported back this morning she had wonderful effects I, I've had everyone that reports to me um, say that it's it's helped them tremendously at this point if this only cut people's pain in half, I still consider it a win because it's getting the polyphenols into the system to boost immunity and it is oxygenating the blood to promote healing and you have all kinds of nutritional chemicals in the plant, all the vitamins, and then you get into its antibacterial, antiviral, antifungal. You know, the list goes on and on. So then you get into the three components of the pain relief, the lacticarium, the lactocoprocrine, and the lactosin. And I'm hoping that I have worked this concentrate decoction down to a good science so that I can at least make this for people when they need it. Like I said, I want everybody to grow their own. I really feel powerfully about this plant to grow your own. I've got seeds. I'm getting more and more seeds every day. So I'm hoping that I can start sending those out in another month or two. So let's get started on this. So I'm not going to strip the leaves off of this. Right now, I have so many leaves in my spare bedroom. It's just this giant herbal com repository where all these um, plants are drying. And, and so I have, I have plenty of the dried leaves and I'm still gathering. 
Y'all, I'm still gathering. Y'all know, y'all can just picture me at this point, I know. Uh, me being on the side of the highway or out in the field with my hair and a camouflage cap and some plaid boots on so I don't get chiggers or, or a rattlesnake bit. Um, gathering this now. I am being careful of the heat. It is getting to me. It's really getting to me. And I want to show you where where I'm getting the information from about the percentage of alcohol. Now it's these two books right here and right here. Now there is a ratio aspect when you go in with fresh plant material and how much water per the fresh plant material or also the dried plant material. These two books right here y'all, these cover it all. Uh, it explains it too. It doesn't just say do this. It tells you why you need to do this. So uh, I'll be adding some more to this. It'll probably be cereola. My cereola are getting real spindly and tall. And cereola are funny because they reach a certain point and then they crook. They look like a bunch of shepherd's hooks out there just crooked over. And, and that is something particular to the cereola and not the other species that I have. So you need a more than 70% percentage of alcohol to put on your fresh plants to strip the chemicals and start breaking it down. So because the, the PGA is so expensive, I start with that. And when I say PGA, I forget y'all don't speak southern some of you don't uh, it's grain alcohol um, I'm going to our local moonshine distillery this Saturday and try to get uh, some of his moonshine so that I'm trying to work toward everything that I use comes from in my hometown and we actually have two distilleries here the bourbon distillery it's called Pritchard's Distillery y'all should google that P-R-I-C-H-A-R-D-S Pritchard's Distillery in Kelso Tennessee uh, that's some smooth sipping liqueurs they're gourmet liquors uh, mostly bourbons and rums okay you see I'm just splashing some vodka now over this and what I'm going to do because I don't want to be heating my house up when it's a million degrees outside and I'm struggling with keeping the air running I'm going to put my lid on that I'm just going to let it break down like I said through the evening as I wander out into the yard I just got like 5 million mosquito bites and uh, so I'll go back out and I'll cut some more and I'll put it in there fresh matter and then once I do that I'm going to cover it here's you some southern terminology a goodly amount now something a little more precise I'm going to tell you I'm about going to double it I want there to be enough water on top of this so that it it's double the amount of the plant material that I have in here. Now I have done some variations. I've done one and a half times. I've done the water at the exact level of the plant. What I have found is when I double that water amount on my plant material and I've got my simmer going that's that's going to give it plenty of liquid to then cook down into then when I go to strain this off the plant material and I continue cooking it down until it reaches that dark inky color that we want um, then it's ready 
but I do want to say this these books that I showed you describe this in detail and I do this this is a it's called a dual action decoction and this is how I'm doing all of my fresh herbs the alcohol first to strip it down and break it down and then the water to go on top to start cooking it and then once I've cooked it all down now once I take my lid off and the steam is evaporating and the chemicals are concentrating down into the liquid down into the liquid then it's it's the alcohol has burnt off so then when I go to bottle it put it in a jar I put and I'm going to just give an estimate again because I do this through intuition with the guidance of these books but also having been a cook and learned cooking in the kitchen what I do is I I leave about two inches from the top of my container and then that's what I fill with either vodka or PGA you can use other alcohol by the way uh, some of this stuff needs flavoring up I mean we've all tasted it at this point wild plants are bitter but remember the bitter is the polyphenols and those are immune boosters so um, so I have used some peach brandy at this point now I use that on my mimosa blooms uh, I also use that on some of my passion flower blooms that's some good stuff right there so I'm gonna leave y'all with this because after this point it is just time the water the cooking the straining the adding uh, the putting the liquid back on the stove and cooking it more and cooking it more that's just time y'all can do that because y'all are brilliant so then once it gets to that consistency then you put it in a jar and you keep it as long as it's got that alcohol in it what I have found in my research is that uh, it can last safely up to three years but with less alcohol than that people have found stored and canned things that are still good after a decade but again I want y'all to have this for when you need it that's why I want y'all to learn how to do this that's why I want you to learn about this plant and I did and so until my next video, I'm going to go eat some watermelon and sit under the air conditioning and watch Justified. And y'all have a wonderful evening. And until next time, God bless you all and goodbye.